And here we are the start of race number three for the day. The under 13 fun run, two laps, again one and a half miles and they're off. Again the initial stampede at the start. They're doing the same course as in race two, the previous race which we've just seen. In theory it should be a faster race with them being three years older than the previous runners. Again, we have the usual fast starters. We have one or two lads pulling away there at the front. Yes, we definitely have a lad in the lead this time as opposed to a young lady. But he's not running with a number on, so we can't tell you his number. And there's a big group forming just behind him there. I don't know how long this young lad's going to last here. If you find with lads of this age, they'll go off really fast for the first quarter of a mile or so and then they find that lactic acid builds up in their legs and it slows them right down. They got oxygen debt and they find that they, they just can't get their breath quick enough. They have to slow down and that's when all the pack comes flying past and before they've recovered they find they're near the back. That's with this young lad with the blue t-shirt on now. He's beginning to drop back. Two lads from Hull Springhead now going into the lead and he's dropped off that lead group of three. And here we have the lads who start off at a more moderate place, who have placed themselves, hopefully to, to be up there at the front at the finish. But I don't think it really matters who wins these races, it's all about competing. They're all out for, for having a good bit of fun on a Sunday morning. The sun's shining, which makes a change. And here we have a full team, all running in line there. It'd be better to reverse, I think, Chris. Sorry? Maybe better to reverse. Let's have a go around with them. Oh, time. Come here. Why are the road crazy coming around again? Here we are on the second lap here. We have the leader number 881, a new leader who was just in the group of three when they went past us for the first time. Number 915 from Hull Springhead with his teammate just behind him giving chase. And these three lads were together on the first lap, but the leader's pulled away from them now. And the lad in fourth, there's two of them. Again from Hull Spring and Harriers. Quite a drift of the leading three, but they're giving chase. Move up, Chris, slowly. And we're going to go back to the front of the pack now and see how the leaders are doing. Breathing, they're, they're really running hard. And there's number thirteen two nine there going past. And again, the lads who are chasing the leading three. We're way out ahead now. Number 881 here in the lead. He's got a good 50 metres lead over the, the lad from Hull Spring and Harriers who's in second place now. He's looking a bit red in the face. He's pushed himself hard, but he's, he's got that gap. He's not, they're not going to close it now. Less than half a mile to go now. They're up. The question is, are these two Hull Spring and Harriers lads behind him, who's going to get second place? I think first place is really that this lad now, number 881. He's worked hard, he's pulled away. Good long stride there, using his arms as well to push himself along. He's got everything together. And he's opened that gap even further now. He's not letting up at all. He's looking behind. He's just checking on his position now, I think. He's looking strong. He's not looking weak at all. The fast at the start, sat in that lead group, and then pulled away. And I think that gap could be closing, but I think it's probably too much for the young lad from Hull Springhead to close the gap now. It's probably more than 50 metres. This one. 
and by quite a substantial margin as well. And it's Hull Spring and Harriers in second and third place, I believe. Number 850 there in second place, being congratulated by his mother. Number 915, Lyle was in second place for a lot of the way, finishing third. And number 1329, finishing fourth. 703 in fifth place there. Looking tired, but I dare say we happy with his run. Number 918 from Hull Spring and Harriers. Again, packing really well. Hull Spring and I've got a good section of, of younger, younger runners here. Number 865, 965, sorry, again from Hull Spring and Harriers. If there were a team prize, I think Hull Springer would have walked away with it in every race so far. I think that's probably the first young lady to pass through there, number 697. Number 1275 looking tired there, but he'll get home and he'll find if he's enjoyed himself. Spectator on the course uh, being removed by a race official. As <laughs> they come storming into the finish now. And this. And there's even a few of them from the crowd for these lads who are. Lying now in about 30th, 40th place, the crowd is still cheering them on. Always a good thing to have at the end of a race, have a crowd there who are willing to clap and cheer you on right to the line. You always seem to find something extra which you never thought you had during the race. Number 695 looking in, in pain there, but I dare say he'll have enjoyed himself. And there's one of the first City of Hull vests we've seen today. Not too many City of Hull vests around the place today. Just got to show Hull Spring and Harris that are raking in most of the young talent of the area.